pollen. Today I'm going to be talking about cholera, a dangerous bacterial disease. Cholera normally spreads in water sources like rivers and other lakes and other water bodies. Cholera is a bacteria. It's a bacterium that spreads easily in water. Mainly, it, it spreads mainly in places without proper water sanitization. Like isolated villages where people rely on the river for water. So this person here is taking some water, but he does not know that there is cholera inside of this river. So he takes it home and then it happens. Cholera, it's, the scientific name is called Vibrio cholerae. It's bacterium. So it spreads in the intestines. It spreads. And there, it begins to feed on the intestines nutrient-rich resources. That is the best place for Vibrio cholerae to spread and survive. So, you might be wondering, what is the what does it do to you? Well, the bacterium doesn't attack you. It doesn't attack you by itself. It causes diarrhea and severe dehydration. Mainly, there is basically no water left in your body. So much diarrhea happens and more dehydration that you don't even have any water inside of your body. And that is the thing what makes Cholera, cholera so deadly because of the dehydration you literally just dry up from the inside and there's no water no and that is the reason why people die from this and it's a river or a lake or a water body is not the only way it can spread flies you can see the bacteria on the flies body parts and once Flies like to sit on food, so when they sit on food, the bacteria start spreading on the food. And then when people eat that food, they get the cholera, which spreads in their intestines. So these two ways are the way for it to spread. So you might be wondering, how do you stop cholera? So you might think, what are some precautions for cholera? So the best way is, Either you get your water from like a city or a water pipe, which is already sanitized. But if you live in an area where there's no proper water treatment facility, these are the ways you can stop cholera. When you have the pot of water, boil it. Boiling normally kills almost all bacteria, including cholera. So that will kill the bacterium. And the second way is use some sort of disinfectant, like a chemical that will kill the bacteria, but not harm the water. Second, use, third, you use a filter. The filter will act as a filter, of course, and it will filter the water. But this alone will not prevent cholera. The best way is to do two of them. First, filter it to remove any big particles such as dirt and stones and other things. And then boil it or use your chemical so that the inside bacteria, viruses, and all of that get killed. Because filtering will not stop cholera. And before you eat or after you use the bathroom, wash your hands. But you might think, suppose you accidentally did get cholera. You just caught cholera and you can't do any of this now. So what do you do to stop it? Surprisingly, the cure for cholera doesn't involve complicated medicines and other things. No, the cure is simple. You just take a liter of water, two tablespoons salt, and one tablespoon sugar, mix it and drink and repeat. So you keep on drinking that and that will stop the dehydration. The salt and the sugar are important because they also replace some sort of nutrient or vitamin that will help your body to help fight the cholera.
So that is the easy cure. But sometimes it can get really, really bad. And then you can't use this. Then you will have to go to the doctor for antibiotics. So now, someone in a village has cholera. If they go to this outhouse right next to the river, many isolated villages and towns have outhouses right next to the rivers. People with cholera, the, the virus or the bacterium spreads here and then it gets into the water, which makes it spread again. So some people also uh, cough a lot and they can't even cough properly because there's basically no water inside of you. That is another thing what makes cholera dangerous. So those are the ways. Do not take um, outhouses next to the rivers or lakes or any other body source. That will help spread the cholera. So that's cholera. And remember, the easy cure is just to take two tablespoons salt, one tablespoon sugar, and a liter of water, mix and drink. Based on your age group, it depends on how much of the salt, sugar, water mixture you drink. But basically, if you have a normal form of cholera, you will be able to get well with this. But if it's severe, go to a doctor and get those antibiotics. So thank you for watching about cholera. So I'll see you later.